These are good questions. You should have a um uh, what a, a podcast. Is that what they're called? <laughs> a podcast. I'm thinking about it. You should. You'd be really good at it. Thanks. Um. So. It's so funky. <laughs> ah, growth. It really is a painful process for a lot of us. Not necessarily physically painful, but sometimes. But the idea of growth means change. And you know, that ain't something that a lot of us really are big fans of. I am definitely one of those people. I think growth is also something that you have to be intentional about. I know that sometimes like things will grow you up, but it's also just kind of just the element of like, okay, I'm ready to grow up. And like what you choose to do in order to make that happen. You know what I'm saying? I was talking to a homeboy of mine and he said that he gets scientific with it. <laughs> and I was like, okay, what that means? And he was like, you know, I realize that I don't like having to raise my voice because I don't like the energy that comes with arguments. And he said, I realize that I raise my voice. When I raise my voice, my stomach gets tense. So he was like, so I've really told myself now, relax your stomach when you talking and when you're upset. So instead of focusing on the thing that I'm like so bothered by, I just focus on relaxing my stomach. Now, you know, he calls it again scientific, but really it's just self-awareness. It's mindfulness, right? And it's, it's being in the moment, which for a lot of us is a very, very big part of growth. Like how do I be in the moment, but not in the emotion? Now, sometimes the emotion is the moment, but sometimes it's like you letting the emotion run the moment. Okay. The emotion is Debo in the moment. The emotion then took your bike. Okay. Now for me, I will say that growth is an ongoing process that I am constantly finding myself involved in ever since I realized that growth is the best way to get peace and happiness and joy. <laughs> but I've had to do a lot of growing. I've had to do a lot of growing. You know, I would say that um, in the beginning of my career, I felt like I had to really fend for myself a lot. And this is a theme that comes up a lot, but the growth has come and learning how to fend for myself as much as possible in a way that doesn't um, get me like into like, you know, that, that, that yucky part, that anxious part, that angry part. Because really all anger is is fear. And you're afraid that like somebody's trying to play you or you're not going to get what you want, et cetera. So that's essentially what comes out. But for me, the biggest element of growth has been in being able to identify when I'm wrong and apologize and finding out that apologizing is not going to present me as weak or as a loser, like I lost something. And that if the other person does receive it that way, then they ain't my people anyway. And I can always just keep it moving. But that apologizing is really just you acknowledging and giving accountability. And there's a peacefulness that comes in being able to do that. And a lot of people don't really understand how far an apology goes, especially a genuine one. Um, and so in me wanting to understand, me wanting to receive apologies for wrongs done, it made me say, I need to be better about apologizing when I have done wrong. And that's like something that I've really feel like has been a big growth point for me. I think another growth point for me has been really just um, knowing how to use this internet in a way that is not so god dang toxic. I mean, the internet is toxic in general, but I feel like I've gotten much better at not taking things personal and not internalizing things throughout my day, etc. But growth, y'all, you know, when, when Tay Diggs and I met, so Tay Diggs and I met uh, at Celebrity Squares and we immediately, like, just got along. <laughs> it was literally like an immediate, like, oh, I see you, you see me type of situation. Maybe it's the thespian of it all because we're definitely dramatic. But 
it was like we immediately like got it. The humor, the freneticness, <laughs> like that was my on site. That was my on site. Okay. And it, when you get to this age, like whenever that happens, you're like, oh my God. <laughs> like it feels like so wonderful and beautiful. Right. So I had asked him, you know, would he do the podcast? And he was like, yeah, no problem. No problem. And, you know, he came here. He got here on time. But we couldn't figure out what to talk about. And so this topic, side effects of growth, literally came about as we were doing the podcast. So you're, when you're watching, you're probably going to see the point where it's like, oh, there it is. But. What I love about this conversation is how transparent and how honest Tay is with us just about his own self-reflection and realizing that, you know, there were steps that he needed to take in order to truly grow. And that's what I'm seeing from all of the men in my life who are really stepping into beautiful phases of self-awareness, of love, of, um, of just their divine feminine. All of them is getting a point of like, oh, so I can be the captain of the ship and get us to calmer waters. Yes. Yes. It does not make you a better captain to simply be able to manage the ship on troubled waters if you keep steering us into them. And yourself into them as well. So uh, let's get into it. Shout out to Tay. Uh, Shout out to everybody out there who is experiencing growth. And shout out to all y'all who may be thinking about it. It's time to get into it. Pour some water on it. Let's do it. This is a... So we're doing something different for this episode. Mm -hmm. Honestly, because you are different. I think on the outside looking in, people would probably just... Not people before. Okay, before Instagram, mm-hmm. you just look like a fine chocolate man who got talent. Well, thank you, thank you for that. But do you know what? Like that's. I mean, there's there's been a there's been a legacy. Okay. It, particularly from the '90s of like the fine chocolate man okay. with talent. Okay. <laughs> you know, there's you, there's Morris, there's Lorenz. Like, and so before social media, you're only existing in the roles that we're seeing you in. Mm-hmm. And so people encapsulate you in that way. Right. Whereas your your personality is completely and far more expansive than I right. think any than of the, us ever imagined. The, than this, than this, than this, this, okay. I'll, okay. I'll take I that. I mean, I, I see it in the, look at the clothing. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> flavor, 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 flavor. I mean, there's just so much. <laughs> This, you know, and so we were trying to figure out like what is the topic to discuss, and we we couldn't nail it down. Um, because you can't be nailed down. No. No, I can't. You're. This is for the. the, You can cut this. Can this? Can this? Can any of this be cut? Of course. Okay, great. Because I don't want to embarrass you, but you're very loud. This is because it's a podcast. I'm a loud person, Tay. Okay. Okay. Do you want me to be quieter? Nope. I was just curious if this would, if I needed to like match yours. No. For the podcast, I will. I will is... eventually match you. Oh, okay. But or you no, hadn't spoken or not. yet. But you hadn't spoken yet. So or I was. Not. I was just him. curious because I. It was. Yeah, yeah. This is theater. <laughs> what you just witnessed is theater. Okay. <laughs> yes, Im- we're improvising. Yes, we're listening. Yeah. Like we're. What cue yep, am I taking and, right. from... And feeling. Yeah, because you felt like we were in two different scenes? Not at all. Not at all. We're in the same scene. Okay. Yeah, yeah. This is... It's good. It's... Of, uh, I'm a fan, by the way. Of me? Yeah. No, of the, of the... Of the... <laughs> actually, of the area. I love Calabasas. <laughs> you know, it's warm. It's hot. But it's very... It's affordable and... You get a lot for your, you know, <laughs> yes, of you, dummy. Um, I don't think yeah. I am aware that I'm out there. Well, yeah, to that, be a fan, to be a fan. Yeah, I feel you on that. I've always felt like that, even though you've yep, been in these blockbuster. I will, yep, I don't know about blockbuster, but but um, iconic. I often, 
And I just now, just now, just in the past maybe two years, I've been able to um, to accept that. Um, it's so interesting. Just except which part? The iconic thing. You're an icon. Well, uh, people I'm have been it. saying that, and and you're smart, and um and I, no, for real, because because sometimes you. I need to um believe other people as opposed to myself, because you know how sometimes we have a, a uh, the a, doubt. Uh, they it's just a skewed perception of ourselves because of whatever happened in our past, mm -hmm. but. I'm constantly forgetting who I am. You know, I'll go out because I don't have, I don't <laughs> have a lot of friends that are um, other celebrities. I have people Same. that I know really mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. Now, I have a lot of friends, but I know what the people saying. that I kick it with. Yes. So they'll be like, oh, let's go bowling or let's go, and I'm, absolutely, or let's go to an amusement park or I'm be, and I'll be hyped. <laughs> and then I'll get there. And if there's more than two black people there, it can be a thing. <laughs> and I'd be like, I, f I forgot. I mean, I forgot. I've done great work. Oh, oh you know, because that's the I thing. People... It's not. It, you have to understand. I don't know. Well, you do know this because you've experienced it. You've I mean, I done know enough. I've done, done great done, work. Yeah, but you've done reverence it's a work. Recognition that I, you've done yeah. reverence work. So there's. I remember you from this thing, and I see you, and you're in front of me. And there's, yeah, you did yeah, something yeah. that changed me. Uh, yeah. Oh, my God, that gave me goosebumps. Somebody said that to me yesterday. And every once in a while, you know, because I was raised in the church. I'm so tripped how, how, like, you're raised one way and you think that it's the right way. And then you get older and you realize it's exactly the opposite. So I was raised to be humble. Modest. Um, modest, you know, you know, you know, Meek. don't. Anybody that gives you compliments, you know, throw them off. And um, are your parents Black American? They are, yes. Yep, yep. Just yes. because an, Im an immigrant, just well, an immigrant element would have added a whole. Yeah, other... yeah, 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 yeah. It definitely would have. Yes, they are. Yep, yep. And we and we grew up. Um, you know, Chris Berry, my dad, Joe, <laughs> my stepfather. He um he made it his his for whatever reason. He tried all these different religions. I remember one time we were um, G G Jews for Jesus. Have you ever heard of that? It seems, it, it always <laughs> seems uh, oxymoronic to me, but it's yes, a thing. Yes, but that was the thing. I remember Maranatha was the name of the church. Um, and then we were c c Catholic for a bit. And then but for the for the bulk of, of my um, my growing up, we were Pentecostal. You know, speaking tongues oh. and the Holy Spirit and hell and heaven and and so I'm still I'm still getting rid of some of some of the the, the bad stuff. The, what would you uh, consider yeah. to be the bad stuff? The judging, the judging others, judging yourself. The um, because now I'm I'm extreme in the other. You know, no, I don't yeah. right and wrong, good and bad. It, you it's, and you're living it because well, we were running I'm late. Trying. Well, we were running. No, you're not. You're doing. You're doing. Because we were running late, and I was like, the first thing I said to you was like, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. You know, it wasn't my fault. And you were like, well, even if it was, it's fine. You know, that's- I a, would want to be told that. I would want to be told Like, that. that was a learning moment for me. Oh. Like, in that moment. It was I like, was, oh, you know, Grace, you could do more of that. It's so easy. Like, I, I got like to the, apologize to someone later I based it. on that. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, I, I owe someone an apology later, so. <laughs> got to do it. <laughs> but that's also part of it. Like- well, that's nice of you to apologize, but you, whatever you were feeling, you were feeling it, which is valid. Yes. Super valid. But you can show up different. You and can. I'm trying to, you can. but any, here's the thing. You can. you can also apologize because you were feeling and you showed up this way and it doesn't take anything from you to be like, hey, I, I, I didn't like how I showed up in that. Well, there you go. And I'm, I feel I like my the, growth has yeah, been yeah, yeah, yeah. realizing that an apology is not a weakening of you. It's a strengthening. Yes. 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 Yeah? Yes. Growth. Yeah. So you're experiencing a world that you... So I'm trying to grow. That's what I'm... I, I interrupted you. Excuse me. No. You're trying to grow. Mm -hmm. What was the catalyst? Um, probably it all. It started after my uh, divorce. My divorce. My baby. My baby mama is Adina Menzel. 
She is a white Jewish woman, very talented. One and, of the um, greatest. Yeah, she is, she is. She's no joke. And I have to, I still have to. Did you guys, we get along did you guys very, meet at Rent? We did. Can I have a moment? You can have more. You can have a few moments. We can <laughs> look at your face. Uh, like even that, it was such a trip. We we uh, I didn't know what was going on and when it was happening. I took I took that gig um almost on. I'm accident. realizing in real time that it's I'm crazy. talking to you. Um, <laughs> ah, I'm realizing in real time. Because you're you but you're Tay, but you're Benny for me. I'm 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 That's 17. The, yeah. Oh, you were 17. I'm 17, I'm in a Honda Civic. Love you, Bohem! <laughs> yeah, I didn't even sing. I didn't even sing. I didn't even sing 525,000. No, we didn't even sing Memories of Love. Love you, Bohem! How did we get here? How the hell? Pen left. Close so on the were, steeple of the church. Yeah, you're, you're the main. Oh, you're I the am. main. You're right I in the there. middle, right down the middle. No, I, I saw you. Yeah. I went. To, yeah. I was there on the way of broad. But you were young enough. You were the age where I feel like this isn't fair for me to say, but I feel like we affected folks your your age oh. the, the most because you were very you were a student of it. Yes, very impressionable, and also but also smart enough to get it yes. and to have it influence you. Like you know, <laughs> I know I've probably aged out, but like I could have mimied it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I could have done it. Oh, of course you could have. Oh, done it. I hate stuff. got a light. <laughs> <laughs> like, if you know, how, yeah. The okay. fact that like Daphne Vega like Ruben follows Vega. me, like ah. it's whatever, it's fine. <laughs> like, it's no big deal. Oh man, it's, I forget how good how good it is to talk to um theater people because we're open. No, and so different than um. Actor no, nothing's people. wrong than how nothing's wrong with Hollywood people. Yes, there is. It's easy to it's easy to forget. Because it's theater doesn't forget. feel opportunistic in the same way that Hollywood no. does. At least, I mean, it, it, can't did, be. it didn't when I was doing it. I haven't, I haven't been there in a minute, but I mean, it's so it's a labor of love. So it's it, it, in a in a whole yes. other way. Yep. And Hollywood is also a labor of love, but in a whole other way. In it's very whole. it's the craft yeah. in a different. <laughs> But I literally, y'all just saw a, like an authentic fangirl. Yeah, I literally flat, just yeah. like went. I was flat chested. I was, <laughs> I was prepubescent because I was late in the puberty part because I was a gymnast. Yeah. But I was, because when we met, when we met in person at Hollywood Squares, we met one time before. Do you know who we met? Mm -mm. We met in passing, very like in passing, in a kitchen at a Jussie Smollett birthday party. And we were like in the, like the, they had like let the quote unquote celebs come through a kitchen. And I remember passing you and being like, that is Tay Diggs, that is Tay Diggs. And then someone was like, hey, Tay, this is Amanda. And I was like, I am Amanda. And you were like, I'm you were, you were, but you weren't was being, I no. like that? You were, be, you were just in your head. Okay. It, you weren't rude. You were just in your head. I can tell the difference. Did you think I was rude at the time? No, no, no. Oh. I was like, oh, he's in it. You have, you are theater to me. I know my people. That's not rude. That's. Okay. I'm, well, thank you for understanding. Yeah, I can be in my head. I am in my head. You live yeah, in your head. Yeah, I do. I do, I do. How that, does that go with the growth? It's, well, that's, yeah. That's, yeah, that's part of it. I mean, it's awesome. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, 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 it's a challenge. It's a challenge. How did that affect the necessitation for the divorce was your head was you being in your head any part of it like was the growth because you were like oh i guess i need to do this because yes yes uh, well yes it's at the positive i don't even like to say positive or negative but the other side of you know the side that has been serving me most is being so in my i can't help be self-aware and i knew that um you know i'm very i'm very i can feel you probably like Tactile. this too i feel everything it's very it's I a feel, gift and a curse. Yeah, exactly. So, um, you know, when we got people divorced, don't understand that, by the way. they don't. They it's very, don't. it's very. And taxing. I wish it's tough because I'm. I like. I don't like pity, and I don't like to pity myself. But often, I want. I want, I, I want to be like, if you knew what I was going through in my, I am so like high functioning. If you knew, you wouldn't say. To me, you would be I, so nice. I had this it's conversation that. with my mother at it's 18. It's that, but 
We can't, you know, if that's you would, part of it. Because we're doing it, so we can't say. It's like if you're doing it, then you can't ask for credit because you're doing it, mm. I feel like. There are people that can't do it, and they're like, I like if I don't have legs, like I can't walk, can you help me? And I got to say yes. Mm-hmm. But if I'm walking, and you're like, I can't, I'm having, str- I'm struggling walking. They're like, I'd be you- like, you do, you walk from here to there. You, you're good. So I feel like that. <laughs> You'll be fine. This person has no legs, so I'm going to help this. It's that. Hmm. You know what I mean? But it still feels like that. It still feels like, ah, somebody just go like that to me and be like, it's cool. Good, job. Good walk. But Good exactly. walk. Exactly. Good walk. You're, the fact that you're still, the fact that you're walking is great. That. <laughs> Good walk. Good walking. My mom would have done that when she's. She's dead now. <laughs> yeah, but she wouldn't. She, but when she was alive and saying that, I didn't. It didn't matter as much. You know what I mean? It's Why like didn't it matter? Because she's. It's like she's your mom. Right. 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 Like, okay. Shut up, mom. You know. You know. Of course, you're gonna say that, mom. <laughs> you love me. But now, I don't know. That's that was a that's that's a learning thing too. Uh, I cut you off because did you? Well, because you and I both have a brain that will go do 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 do. But yeah. I rarely get to talk to people whose brain also uh, goes do 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 do. So. Good luck to y'all listening. <laughs> Kiki, Kiki, Kiki. Um, so you said that it was a response to... Oh, so excuse me. Yes. So um, that happened and, you know, it was... Okay, so I grew up... Okay, so I knew... T- the short answer is I, kn- I knew something had to change because I had like a false sense of security because of my talent because of success, because of religion, you know, um, and 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 where I was, you know, my my relationship with marriage and being a father, and you know, I had a, you know, I was compartmentalized. Yeah, well, like, I was, it was like I was, I had, I felt like I had made it. You had the things. Yeah, yeah, you know, bi coastal, and I remember my cousin, um, who was in New York, um, and I was in LA at the time. And he, I was like, I'm coming to New York, and I showed up, and I met him, and he was like, "Where's your luggage?" And I was like, "I don't, I don't need luggage. I got." I got. <laughs> and he was like, "Oh, like I never thought about." It. He was like, "Yo, you don't even have to pack. Like you got it like that." And I was like, "Oh, I guess I do." And like, right there was, I remember right in life, in life there there was a moment when I was like, oh, "Okay, I'm, I'm good. I don't have to climb. Like I'm, I've made it." Okay. I'm satisfied. Do and you remember I, the age? Oh, whatever. Whenever we, I got divorced, it was like right after I oh. reached that. Boom. Then life was like, boom. and then and then I felt so lost because I was oh. how I how I looked at myself was directly related to being a husband, being what I thought a good father was, but all, all, and I was just like, I don't know where I am. So, so I need like, something. So you felt. All these things when you were in the marriage, but then once you got divorced, yes, yes, for, 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 and I had no idea that so much of who I was was attached was to that. attached to that. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Had that always been like your version of like had that always been like a goal? Like this, like I'm gonna get to these things, and this is what I need to do I to feel so. like I have achieved. I guess mm. you know I didn't realize it at the time. You know I didn't realize it at the time, or else I probably. I probably would have stayed in it. You, you think? know what I mean? I know. Were you the one who ended it? Um, no, it was like a, a joint thing where we both were like, we we thought, it was like we got to know a ghost of each other. Whoa. And then we were always like, the real side of us, we were kind of afraid to show. Well, I wouldn't let her. I didn't want, I, I saw her, her side. Mm-hmm. And I was like, no, I'm not having that. You have to change. You should not be like that. When you feel like this, it makes me uncomfortable. Don't, you know, I was, I was awful. I mean, I wasn't, I didn't beat her or anything, but, you know, Regiment. she, she was herself and she could tell that that side of herself, I was like, oh, that's a little too much for me. You know what I mean? Why was it too much? I just wasn't used to it. And it wasn't like what I was raised, you know, I was raised to think, have self-control, you know, think, think of yourself last. Don't, ex- don't be expressive. If it makes other people uncomfortable. Mm. And she was, and that I think is why 
you know, part of the reason why she is so, why Adina is so successful and why she's even more. I felt like when we left, she, catap- she catapulted. Was that Frozen? I, 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 that, well, yeah, yes. Let it go. Yeah, yes. Let it, literally, let it go. <sighs> let it go. Let it go. And um, And I felt like to a certain extent, I was like holding her back, you know, and then when when I left, she could just be, oh, fine. Let me just be me. And then, and I, I have no idea, but that's what it felt like. That's what it looked wow, like. Wow, that's, how did that make and you I, feel? Um, You know, that's, well, that's part of it. That was part of like, okay, I need to, I need to, I need to change what's going on with me because this, this isn't right. You know what I mean? So then I was like, let me find something. It didn't even matter. I was like, let me find something to kind of focus on that will help me just alter and change and, you know, Learn, learn. I needed something. So then I started, you know, reading more and speaking to different therapists and spiritual teachers and finally certain Have you done things. shrooms? Yes. That, that was later in, in, in my, yeah. That, that, I've heard that that can be very All of it, freeing. I think. I think all of it. All, and I'm not telling people to do it. But in my experience, whoever I am and wherever I am in this whole process, you know, every once in a while... Uh, having help get into my head, um, it, it has been you know very useful for me. Mm-hmm. It, it, it makes it forces an adjustment that that I can, that I have difficulty doing on my own. Yeah. Yes. Because I'm so in my head, so it kind of releases, and then I can really kind of get in touch with you know, what I'm what I'm feeling instead of what I'm thinking or what mm, I think. What I you think be you're thinking. supposed to be. Yes. I feel that's what I believe. You know what I mean? What what you're feeling, not re- reacting to, you know, your past or what you think your future should be. All that. All that. All that. What do you feel like has been like one of the I'm enjoying this by the way. Me too. <laughs> what do you think has been um, like? What's something that you have learned in this growth process? You know what I'm very proud of. Um, I'm very proud of this, and I think, and this was a a, a, a shrooms thing. Um, so I have my opinion, right? Mm-hmm. And I feel like. Like most of us, I feel like my opinion is right in that no matter what the issue is, if I'm talking to someone who has difficulty seeing my side or at least respecting it, then I feel like it's my job to um, Con- show them that, convince them that you can have your opinion, but just in life... It might be better if you just, you know, say, "Oh, I hear what you're saying," or, uh, "Um, but the re- and I hope you can stay with me." But the shrooms made me realize that if I'm trying to convince you of that, then I'm just as bad, <laughs> and that me up. And then I was like, "Oh," because there's a friend of mine who's like, you know, staunch, you know, hates hates Republican, mm-hmm. hates all. And I'm like, well, what, just chill. Like, they're not all bad people. And, and and whenever we got together, there'd always be that moment, you know, where I thought I was, you know, giving her grace by choosing not to talk about it. But then um, the last time we hung, I was like, wait a minute. Oh. <gasps> oh, no. I said, I get it. it Give me goosebumps. And I was like, oh, this is huge. And then I was like, thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> Cause it, it also takes so much pressure off of me. Trying it's to so, and it's so curate like, yes. the and conversation. And when you think of it, it's like, who do I think I am? Well, it's that. Who do I think I am? So live and let live. And that that has never meant more to me, you know, than now. Live and let live. I don't know what your thing is, but who am I? I can tell you how I feel. Right. But who am I to say you should you should you know agree with me? It's better. You well, know what I mean? Sometimes, sometimes. 
You can't go wrong, though. I feel like. I feel like. You can't go wrong and just be like, okay. I hear you. All right. And I got to respect the process because I don't... P- part of, like, this whole thing that I believe in is I only know my way. I don't know what your way is. I have no idea what your way is. So let me step back and, you know... And because there are so many other people... Your way has to be part of the plan just because you exist. Yes. Like we need whatever you, whatever, even if, and I hate to, you know, whatever you believe. Right. That's part of what is supposed, I believe, I believe that's part of what's supposed to happen. That's what I think. That's what Jeremiah and, says all the know, time. What do you say? That's what Jeremiah right here says all the time. But, you know, that's... <laughs> But that's, you know, what, what we're saying. You do you. <laughs> no, I mean, listen, the reality that is that there are, me. to me, it's like a best idea wins situation. So my version of that is like, <laughs> I can know my idea uh-huh. and I can also hear somebody else's idea uh-huh. and identify, yes. do I feel like this idea? I can, I feel like I can objectively identify, like, do I feel like this mode of thinking is better? And the better is depending on what we're talking about. Like if we're talking about, you know, economics for small communities, like there are different ideas that are more valid than others, right? If we're talking about how to get yeah. through a breakup, right. there are, right. you know, some might say like, I just be doing whatever the f- you know I'm saying. I'm out here. I'm, I'm drinking, et cetera. And I can be like, that's your process. I don't know. That's the best idea for me. Yes. <laughs> it's not for you. No. Might be for the other person. Right. How did you get through your breakup? Your divorce? Because a breakup is minimizing. Right. Um, how oh, uh, my kid. My kid. My kid forced me, uh, Walker. He um he forced me to put aside my own feelings um towards like my gripes. Like I, if I, I realize if I focus on him. Then uh, uh, I decided to just focus on him, and everything else uh, it helped release, release it. Yeah, the anger and resentment, and and yeah, even shame and guilt. You know, yeah, kids, kids can be great. He's been great for me. He really has. He's been, yeah. He's yeah. <laughs> he's he's everything I love about myself times a thousand. Times a thousand. Do you take any credit for that? Um, I guess. But I didn't really do anything. You know, I mean, that was the easiest part. You know exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. sure, um, no, because I say that because... <laughs> <girls> say- <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't give you goosebumps. <laughs> I mean, in a different way. <laughs> That's funny. Where do you feel like you have grown as a performer? That's a good thing too. Um, these are good questions. You should have a um uh, what a podcast. Is that what they're called? <laughs> a podcast. I'm thinking about it. You should. You'd be really good at it. Thanks. Um so because I was so okay, this is a this is a I think in my experience uh, the awesome slash awful thing about being broken down. Um I was so broken down after my um and, you know, different spiritual leaders in books, they say that certain people, it's not good or bad, but it's its very common for people to be at their lowest before they have a realization. Like, that's thats yeah. very, very common. And I didn't realize that. So I'm at my lowest. I'm in between gigs. And, um, and I had been a fan of the show. Uh, called um, Hedwig and the Angry Inch. Yes. You know Shout that. out to Brandon Victor Dixon, okay. uh, who was one of the producers of the... Oh, what? For real? Yeah. Okay. Of the, re, uh, of the movie? Of the... No, of the Broadway production oh. that uh, was a revival. Yes. I think I was part of that, I think. Was it... Wasn't the one with... Uh, it had to be, yeah. I was Neil part Patrick? Of, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. So, um, and I had seen a few people do it, and it was one, even as a performer... It was one of those um, roles where I was in awe and couldn't imagine playing that role. It was like so, so many lines and so many songs. Um, and I was so just, just amazed. So 
at my lowest after my divorce, uh, my agent called and said that they were, they wanted to give me the role on Broadway after Offer Only <laughs> <laughs> Which that was good. <laughs> And I was petrified. Really? So in that moment, because I was broken down, like spiritually, I knew, mm -hmm. just say yes. This is something that you're going to grow from. Mm. Just say yes. So I said, yep, don't call me back. And if I call back, don't pick up because I might try to say no. Oh. So I don't, don't let me talk you out of this. Yes. Just tell me, just give me all the materials and let me start working. And, um, oh my God, it was the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. But I had to let go. Like, I was the type of cat where um, I wasn't, um, I needed to, I thought everything had to be done a certain way. Yes. So they, they, they had, I had a limited amount of time to rehearse. Mm -hmm. um, and I was forced to let go. And in that letting go and be like, who knows what's going to happen? Um, I'll, let's just see. Yeah. I was able, I became a different kind of performer. And it wasn't the type of performer that needed to rehearse. But um, I never was the type of cat that was just in the moment. Yeah. And just could, you know, um, go with the flow. And, you know, that character. That it was me. crazy. No, I was, it was rehearsed. Everything was rehearsed. Even when it, even when. It looks like it wasn't rehearsed. I had it in my head. Okay, this could go that way. I could do this because I'm an overthinker. Okay. But. What's your sign? Huh? What's your sign? Capricorn. I was going to say Cap. I said it in my head. I should have said it out loud. But, and I forget, because I believe in all that stuff. I just don't know it. But I'm something where I'm also the yeah. exact opposite. Right. That, that side of it. That's. Yeah, okay. I'm a cancer, cancer, Virgo. I live a tortured existence. <laughs> All these feelings and then analysis. Oh. So I was able to just um, embrace that character and, you know, play off the audience. And and it was so freeing. And it was it's the best work I've ever done. You know what I mean? <gasps> the best work I've ever done. Easily. How Easily. How does that feel? Awesome. Awesome. Where do you go from there? When you know you've done the best work. Oh, Oh. You've ever done like what? Like what in your mind was like? Okay, now I don't even think like that. Um, well, now I bring that to other roles, mm. which is cool. Which is really cool. So now I feel like so my work has changed. My work has changed, since then, and I'm happy for it. I feel like you know this is a very difficult business to be in and to grow, right? Because you start to know, like it's almost like you know too much. I I went through that phase. Tell know. me about that. Um, things were happening. Um, so I believe like I was destined to do this, right? When did you know that you, when did you, like, did you always believe that? I've always believed that. But. I mean, I always believed it. I didn't know that it was, I just knew, I knew I was going to make it. Really? Yes. <gasps> I knew it. I knew it. Now I didn't know why. Did that bring you any kind of peace? That's, that's, that's dope. It was peaceful, but then annoying because even when I was in Rent, I was like, oh, okay, this is a bro, but I need to be in the movies. <laughs> literally. Literally. I so you're like, like bennying it up. And I'm like, oh, okay, let's because I was I was I had to even for that, I, it was this of the ensemble of the um of the they are called there's the ensemble and then there are the characters are called The Leads. Uh no, what's the other word? Of the main uh, I can't think of it. Uh the it's a such and such character. Not in the ensemble, but you're a... Feature? No. Uh, whatever. You know what I mean. Supporting? No. The opposite of supporting. There's a... There's the... Um, the leads. Whatever. Okay. It, it was it was I was the smallest of the leads. So, you know, I was like... So ah, it felt like, I'm oh, here, yes. but I'm not really, yeah, like, here. Yeah, yeah. I'm not... I don't really get to do what everybody yeah. else did. Yeah, you know yeah. I mean? Okay. So I, I was you. like, I know I'm, I'm not just, Anthony Rapp in this yeah, situation. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, mm. um, so, and then when the show was a hit and people started getting other gigs, I was the last to break. And I was like, what? He, he this person? <laughs> and good for you, but I, I'm, I'm the one. Yeah. Um, but then when it broke, it really broke. 
and and did you know you were on my wall in high school, my bedroom wall? Really? Yes, you were. It's a. It was a two page. That's... A two page photo from. I'll probably remember. Maybe that. from Rolling Stone. And you're all like, yeah, oh man, those are those are those are the those are the those are the like, days, boy. Yeah, yeah. I think you might still be up on the wall. Ah. Yeah. So, yeah, all that was lost on me back then because I was because so caught were... up in, like, I'm just passing through. So this is cool, and I, it, you know, I and I didn't, you know, it, it's sad because I I didn't I didn't I didn't let I didn't feel how it was really affecting people. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. You felt like it was affecting people, your disconnect? Excuse me? Your disconnect from, like, the present. No, the show, how the show oh, was affecting people. Like, right. this show. Oh, is life changing. Too? Yeah, 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 yeah. And that would have, um, you know, I would have, I would have walked a little differently if and I had known. And so you said that it, you said that you did know. So, then I got, I started working in movies and then, um, Offers, um, and I remember, and things were going very, very well. I, but I wasn't where I never was where I thought I needed to be. Where did you think you needed to be, Denzel? White, maybe. Oh, maybe like the white roles. Like I remember, Will Smith, like. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm. I remember. I remember when my changed. Um, I was. Uh, it was a, a cover of Vanity Fair and Matt Damon was on the cover. And I was like, this, like, I need, I I can be that. I, I've been in as many movies as I, I should be there. So that's when I was like, then I started chasing that. I want to don't, I don't, don't submit. I don't want to do any more black movies. Oh. I wanna, yep. Yep. Don't. I but wanna, you don't know. And it was, and it was, it didn't, it was just coming naturally. But the minute I wanted to work at, you know, well, then the, let me change agencies. I, I've been with every agency. Same. And Same. didn't believe, you know, and none of them would say, you chill out. The business is racist. Just wait. <laughs> Just wait it out. Yeah, It'll yeah, come. yeah. Like you're the n right now. It'll come to you. Just nobody would say that to me. Everybody was like, well, we can do it. We can make you, uh, oh, we can make you this wow. white guy. We, so then I, the yes, lies. yes. And I believed it. And then finally came full circle and I was like, ah, all right, well, let me just do TV. And then I had this great TV role. And I was like, okay, Which TV role cool. is this? Kevin Hill on UPN. Kevin Hill. It was this great role about a lawyer that gets this. I think I know, missed this one. Oh, man, you would dig it, I think. I would do, uh, it was, yeah. So UPN, great. that alone was How like about a... that? How about that? And everybody was making fun of me. <laughs> but it was the most I had gotten paid. You know what I mean? Um, it was the best I had ever been treated. Um, and, you know, just to be... like, I, I, I'll take TV over movies any day. Really? Oh, easily. Why? You know, when I was doing movies, everybody would get along so well and I'd have these bonds. And then it would end, and then it would really end, and it was just. Too it would much. jar you. Yeah, yeah. Really? Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, and then try to be the same kind of friends you were when you're working it together. Doesn't it work. doesn't work. Yeah. It doesn't work, you know. And I'm, you know, not flaky, but flighty, anyway. Um, so you must have a Pisces in your something, mind. something where I'm just like in the moment, and I just assume that everybody else would be cool if it's like, oh yeah, ne next week, let's get to. I can be very LA, but not on purpose. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I want to get like together. Like, your intention is really to yeah, get together. Yeah, yeah, But, but then to actually I'll just do forget. It. And some people were like, no, you said next week, so now you're not that kind of friend for me. And I've lost out on people. Oh. And that's cool. That we're still cool, but I'm like, ah, I get it. I get it. Because they felt like you were... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we got genius. along. And I was like, no, I'm cool. Like, you got me for... But... I you can't know, rely on like, you, yeah, so there has yeah, to be that distance. type of relying. Like, if you came to me, you needed... Not money, but... I'm there emotionally. Yeah. But if, you know, if I didn't show up at Catch on Tuesday, like I said, you know what I mean? Yeah, so, that's a... Yeah. 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 Also because the parking at Catch, like it's, a, you know, <laughs> it's, it's just like, if we're going to do this, I need everybody that's to funny. be funny. You should have a podcast. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'll give you kudos on? Wow. Um, You know that about yourself and you've made the addendum, the supplement I'm to your trying, life to help you. Yeah. And I think that is a great sign of growth. 
because you could you could keep telling yourself, oh, I can do this. I'm going to be able to. We're just not good at certain things. Nope. So you just need to, you, you, there's an adjustment that has to be made. That is. I had that to learn, is, like, yeah. you have to put things in your phone. You do not remember things. And it doesn't mean you're it doesn't, weak. Because no. you can get caught up in, well, I need to be stronger. So let me do this on my own. No, no, I got it. Let me do some. And then if it keep, nope, I can do it. I can do it on my own. But you're just, nobody wins. This is a loop. Yes. And it's more nobody than strange. Um, right. Oh, um, I said it was a theater. It was a music theater. It was. Do you guys catch that? So when we began this podcast, I didn't know where we were going, but we very quickly landed at growth. Yeah. And how do you feel like honestly, how do you feel about that? About that being where we landed? Yeah, without oh, I feel a great. plan. That was it ended up okay, right? Well, normally we would do that naturally and then we would be like, "Oh, now we're taping." But it just happened on camera. But right. you are um Tay, you're you're like a very you, you may be heavy in your head, but you exist light in the world. You feel like you, you I don't know if the work, you're, I don't know what work. I just want you to know, like, you feel very, like, oh, your good. energy is very lightening. Good. Good. It's and levity. I feel light at times. It's levity. Good. Good. Like, I met you in a very, like, dark place for me in my oh, heart. For real? Okay. Yeah, because oh, I just yeah, had, yep, yeah, yep, yep, a lot, yep, lot, lot, right. lot, lot going yeah. on. And instantaneously. Oh, good. Instantaneously, there was a lift. That is the best. That's the best compliment. That's the best compliment I could get because I know you're similar. You're similar to you. I mean, oh, I'm not wow. in a terribly, I'm not, yeah. I mean, I'm not in a bright <laughs> place, but it still brought light. You know what I mean? <laughs> you get a double tap. Um, thank you for. Thank you. This is great. This is great. You're great. Good for you. For real. Ditto. Good for you. Ditto.